I'm sorry. If if what you're saying, if I don't some get people what you're talking about because on camera, so really next time, well. next time you don't understand something I'm saying, you're like, what are you talking about, bro? Then I could basically put that argument back on you. No, maybe you're saying something that's just personal to you or just not true. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Cameron Van Hoy with my man Mike Dreyer. Don't do it. give me a high five, bro. What the? No, that's that dude. Come on, give me a real high five. Are you going just, that way? Just touch my hand. Just touch my hand. No, no, you're touching yourself. Can't you what? see the screen? No, I'm not. What do you mean? Go, go to your left. Go to your left. Move your hand to your left. Move it to your left. Move it to your left. High five. Mm. How do you not get that? Touch my finger. Go ahead. Boop. What are you seeing? Go on your left. Go to your what right. What are you seeing on your go screen? Your, you're all the way on this side of my screen. Go to your other side. Put your uh, hand well, to then, the then for me, it's not that, that. No, put, dude, put your left hand, your right hand on your right side. Pick your hand up. Right hand. No, but turn it the other way. But move it back. There you go. Now go forward. Go forward. Slap. That's what it looked what like. You slap. You stopped in the middle of your face. Right here. Uh, That's the edge of the screen. Yeah. Why would I be at the edge? That's where our hands have to touch. I dude, if you watch this back later and and you're our hands should be put your hand in front of your face. Your right hand. All right. And touch. We didn't touch anything. I I'm so curious to see what you're seeing on your screen. It's not what you're seeing. You're out of control, dude. Yo, what is yo? I wonder how many people watch your watch your podcast and are just like, what the fuck is that behind him what's what art those like things in my creepy wall? Ass masks oh those are those from tragedy girls it's so creepy bro so creepy i mean they're uh, from tragedy girls they're they're props from the movie those are the masks that i'm aware where you used to live with you and yeah. then you come home and you bring those and you leave them downstairs so in the middle of the night in the dark, when I go down and get a fucking midnight snack, I'd see these fucking faces staring at me, and I freak out. Well, it was it was really weird that you were so scared of them. Dude, those things they look at me. I didn't see I didn't see that in you as a as someone who had fears like this. Oh know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I got tons of fears. Want to hear them? Yeah, let's hear them. Ghosts. Um, dying alone. Herpes, forms of vaginal yeast infection. All reasonable fears. All reasonable fears. I'm not done. Um, living under a bridge. So listen. Involuntarily. What's going, what's going on in the world of movies, filmmaking and acting, Mike? What's happening? What's happening uh, with you? Is right the now. Town, is it slow? Slow right now. It's December yeah. slow. Yeah. Some p pending option things, but... Nothing's going to be nothing. You're not going to know anything until the new year. You know, that's what happens around now. So I've really just been reflecting on myself. Um, You know, just trying to just trying to do some inner work. That's why I'm wearing sweaters now. You know, I'm trying how's to that going? Sweater. It's going. It's going. You know, I don't inner, know. What is inner work like for an actor? Inner work is like, hey, be serious because life's no joke. Put on a sweater. Stop smiling so much. This ain't no damn game. You know? That's what a that's what a thespian should be. You know, it's just drama all day long. So right. I'm trying to do, Cameron. I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to bring myself up in life. You know, I can't I can't be held down by you forever. Yeah. Does that answer your fucking question, bro? Yeah, it does. It does. Cool. I watched Amsterdam this weekend. Did you hear about this what movie? You think? No, my, I'm, I'm visiting my folks and my dad wanted to watch that movie. Yeah, I watched it. Look, it was, I think it was on a list recently of one of the worst movies of 2022. Yo, okay. Thank you. Because I saw I saw um, Christian Bale and I was like, okay, I'll watch I'll watch anything Christian Bale's in because he, he puts out good work. Oh, yeah, that's great. And then I I... You know, and I, he's one of those people who like really transforms and creates characters, which is, you know, that's a that's a privilege. Um, and yeah, I watched maybe I don't know, I think I just watched the trailer honestly, and I was like, oh, this movie's gonna suck. 
Really? Yeah, just watching the trailer, I was like, oh, this movie's going to be boring as fuck. Yeah. You know, I didn't think the movie sucked. I didn't think it sucked. Um, it, it was on this list of like the worst movies of 2022. Let's see if I can pull that list up. The worst movies of 2022. You're like, flinch, what the fuck? <laughs> that was 2021. Oh, shit. And it was on, it was on a good list. Remember that? It was on best li- best movies of 2021. Was it really? In January. Okay, yeah. so the worst films of 2022. Um, the list, this is according to Variety. Let's share this screen right here so you can see this. Who, who creates these lists? Yeah, who creates these lists? So, worst films. Amsterdam. Amsterdam, wow. number, top of the list. So I, I watched Amsterdam, and I didn't think it was a bad movie. Um, look, it's like, let me tell like, you, I don't know. I didn't see every movie. I want to read this. Can I there read were definitely that? worse movies in 2022 than Amsterdam. Like, they're just trying to pick movies with movie stars that they thought were bad, you know? Well, that's what matters, right? I mean, every movie is basically bad until it's a good movie. <laughs> it's like, I feel like saying the worst movies is basically, it like... I think every movie starts off as a bad – every movie is a bad, bad movie. It's just there are some less bad movies. <laughs> That's what, I just feel like there's so much trash out there that basically you're going to assume most movies out there are going to be bad, especially if they don't have like money or people behind it. So it makes sense to me that you're going you're gonna to go after the ones with, with stars because they're the ones who should be. That's like such a cynical perspective because I think most movies are pretty good. I, th- I think I think now more than ever, people are too hard on movies because it's like kind of this era again of, you know, everyone has a review and Rotten Tomatoes and even the name Rotten Tomatoes. It's not like delicious tomatoes and some are rotten. It's like the, it's like the skew that assuming most are rotten, right? Uh, everyone online, social media now – uh, having a, an opinion. I'm gonna look so into like, rotten tomatoes. Meaning that I just think it's a it's a it's a cute name compared to tomatoes. I mean, there could have been a million names but, for it, right? Well, you um, throw tomatoes at the stage when something sucks. Remember? Yes, that's true. But it's given everyone that tomato now, and everyone's just having fun throwing the tomato. Let me tell you, if they if you if they put you in a theater however much you love actors and appreciate actors and they gave you tomatoes and said, Hey, feel free to throw these at the end. If you didn't like the performance, even if you kind of liked it, you're throwing tomatoes. It's too much fun. Not to my friends would throw, would throw their candy. Yeah. They'd be like, this movie sucks. So so I I watched Amsterdam and I liked it. I mean, look, it's not whatever. It's not like, you know, it's not, um, what's his name? David O. Russell's best movie. Okay, and there's definitely you can really see the David O. Russell thing in it, you know, the the group of characters that come together, the adventure, the tone of it. Um, I think it missed its mark more than often in like the humor it was going for. Um, only a very few amount of jokes really landed, in my opinion. Um and then like the big culmination at the end with some big event that like everyone's kind of like circling around that, you know, it, it really follows his like, the, you know, there's like a, a kind of vibe that he has, a structure that he has. If you think about Silver Linings Playbook, it all revolves ultimately around this big dance uh, event at the end that everyone shows up to and they all need to win and, and, and you know, together and um but you know, look, it's not a bad. It's, it's a good movie. It's it's a it's a good movie. You know, he's doing good things. Uh, you know, Christian Bale's great in it. Margot Robbie's such a she's so good. She's such a wonderful actress. She's just incredible to watch. Every moment of hers is really great. You don't like Margot Robbie? What's that oh. face? You don't. I, you make a face. I think beautiful. I think she's beautiful. She's also oh, a really good actress. Starlet. She's a movie star. You don't think she's a good actress? What's a movie star? Huh? What's a movie star? What's your definition of a movie Someone star? that people go to the movies to watch. Okay. Does that have anything to do with acting? Yeah, it does. No, it does not. It, yes, it does. 
It absolutely does not. Bro, uh, you are right. You not. have changed with these fucking sweaters because this it is the absolutely most does not. I've said for, most what? Pretentious opinion ever. Okay, well, I used to, I had the same opinion for, you know, many years when I wore hoodies. Uh, no, it's not. A movie star and an actor are not the same thing. To be a movie star doesn't mean you're a good actor. That's not Absolutely true. not. It's the stupidest thing you could ever fucking say. Not true. Have there been, time. okay. Oh my uh, God. I'm not even going to get into this conversation. So let's just move on. Hold, no, no, ridiculous. let's get into it. This is a great conversation. It's absurd. No, no, a this is a great star, conversation. It's in the definition. Who can... You said a movie star is someone that people go to the movies to watch. Yeah. And you're saying people go to the movies to watch certain actors because they're good, not because they're beautiful or cool. Beauty plays a part in it. No question. Okay. Next. But let me tell you, Emrata never became a movie star. Okay. Ooh. You know why she never became a movie star? Because she can't act to save her life. You Ooh. have to have something that works on screen within a story. Okay. By the way, here's another great example. For a moment, for a very small moment, Steven Seagal was a movie star. Very small moment, right? Is he a great thespian? No. Could he act? Yes. Could he do a certain thing that he had to do? Yes. He could be the tough guy. He could kick ass. Jackie Chan as another example. Okay. There's a movie star, right? Now he did a certain type of acting. It was a weird combo of like slapstick meets Kung Fu. Okay. But it's acting. He was expressive. He, he was working with actors. He was telling stories with emotion and behavior and performing. He was performing on screen. That's acting. There's many different types of acting. There's not you know? many different types of acting. There's good acting. There's bad acting. There's different, um, there's different genres that actors have to act. There's a uh, comedy. There's, there's different types of acting. There's, there's there's not different types there's of acting. Vaudeville. There's there's that's not know, types of acting. Method acting. There's every acting is a method acting. German expressionism. There's German different types of acting. Yeah, expressionism is a, is, is a certain type of. There's you know there's certain types of acting. There are. There's 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 acting. Okay. There's not. First of all, the fact you just said there's method acting and German expressionism. What actor does German expressionism? I'd like to know. Nick Cage has talked about this extensively. German expressionism. Mm -hmm. right. So anyway, uh, there's there's different there's forms. certain. Be there's a better term for it, which I'm forgetting. There's uh, there's comedy. Type there's type dramas. Comedy. There's um, sketch and, comedy. But within comedy, there's many different comedy. types of comedy. Yeah, different types of comedies, not different types of acting. Acting is acting, man. And look. Okay, look great. So then, if acting is acting, then movie stars are actors. You huh? just proved my point. If acting is acting, oh, then movie stars are then all movie stars are actors. Huh? What are, what are we arguing over right now? What are you saying? Are you yeah, movie stars are actors, they're not tennis players. Yeah, okay, great. And so what are we arguing over then? I'm saying you don't have to be a good actor to be a movie star. What mm -hmm. movie stars were not good actors? Name some. Arnold Schwarzenegger, I think he's a good actor. Okay, cool. You well, you have a very except when it comes to my acting, you have a very, very uh, low, like uh, you know, standard. I don't, I don't have acting. a low standard. I can't listen. Keanu to Reeves. He's a good. He's a movie star. He's a movie star. Is that yeah. what a fucker a good actor? He yeah, he is at what he does. He yeah, is uh, he's a good 20, actor. 20. He's a good actor. He does. Let me tell you what he's there done with weapons. Base, what he's what, done with weapons and fighting. That's acting. He's done with, yeah, it is. It's a form of that's acting. choreography. It's that's acting. Gun training. I can show you friends who aren't actors who go to the uh, shooting range and are very good with weapons. They're actors now. You can't do what he does on screen. You can't act. Acting is so much more than just than just being able to say your lines naturally. There are people. This is what the base thing for being a movie star is: it's being able to deliver lines naturally that doesn't make you an actor it makes you a talking head now if you are a good looking talking head now there are some people who are movie stars because they get the genres they live in no one i love arnold schwarzenegger for what he did he he's was really good star. too when you watch he was him, a movie like, star and i actually think arnold schwarzenegger deserves the lifetime achievement award in terms of um no what's the term improved. the most most improved or whatever yeah I think he should get the most improved award. If you see his first movie to like his last cop. movie, not not before he became the governor. No, kindergarten no. cop and stuff and true lies. Yeah, he's great in those movies. Fuck that. The Predator. Yeah, he's great in I those mean, movies. All these movies. 
The, he no one no one delivered a one liner like that guy for what he right. did. Right, that's a talent. Goddard's, that's a form of acting. The one liner is a form did. of acting. It's its own specific little thing. Some people can do it. The greatest thespians in the world cannot deliver certain one liners the way that he did because it's a different type of acting. All right, you're getting um, caught up, and I get it. I get it. Listen, I get what you're saying. You're listen. There is so that. he's not a good actor. He's a movie star because Arnold Schwarzenegger fit a physical appeal would you, would you prefer the term performer then would you say that a movie star at minimum is a really good performer but not necessarily an actor and i think that goes down to like with rappers or like uh lyricists and like performing artists right um that's interesting but no, I think they're actors. I just don't think they're all good actors. I right. think a lot of But people, at minimum they're good they performers. Different, if they looked differently and that I don't know who this person is that you mentioned that you're like she sucked. Margot with. Robbie. We were talking no. let's all start with Margot Robbie. Yeah, I right? think Margot Robbie's a good actress. I think she's I think really she's good. A good actress. I, I what? I think she's I never really even good. said anything. I, I think she is you made a face. Funny. That's how to start. Yeah. You made a face. I was listening. That was my listening face. I think right. she's stunning. I think um I think she did a great job in Wolf of Wall Street. Great. Um, I think she did a really good job in that movie. Um, other than that, most of the time I see her, I'm just like, yo, this woman's stuck. I, Tanya? You yeah, watch Itanya? Yeah, I think she was. I think that was her attempt at like, uh, like trying to like look ugly to show that her acting, it's not, she's not just all her looks, like, you know, which I, I respect, but I mean, it was no monster like when Charlize Theron did it. Like that woman is a talent. Charlize Theron is an incredible actress. She's a talent. She's someone. If you said the words that you just said about Margot Robbie, I would be like, "Word, absolutely." Margot Robbie. I don't know if she deserves. Like, I'd hang on to every. Like you were saying it. Like this. Like this. She was giving you more than just like speaking naturally. When she acts, I think mostly she's just a fucking stunning woman. I think she's a movie star because. She's, I mean, look at her. And she has the ability to, at the very least, be charming and natural and entertaining. Um, but, and I, so I think she's a, and once again, I think she's a good actress. I think Margot Robbie. Watch, you want to watch her though. Even like when I was watching Amsterdam, there are these. Face. <laughs> but it's more than that, dude. There are beautiful people, beautiful people that. Something happens when the, the frames are moving. You can't look at them on screen. They're conscious of themselves. That's why so many models can't act. Beautiful models. Being a bad actor. You try to find little... There are certain people, they're just good on camera. They have a presence. They're unaware of themselves. They're able to get out of their own way. And like, as an example, in Amsterdam, there are certain shots on Margot Robbie when she's just listening, right? Like literally just sitting like this and listening. And you could watch her for hours doing that. She just works. But she's beautiful, bro. Not because she's beautiful, dude. I'll tell you, I'll take she's beautiful. There are many beautiful women that I cannot I watch for hours listening on screen because I'm like, there's yeah, something. Well, and it's hard to explain. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you're just being, a, you're just like fighting with me for the sake of fighting. It's, what I'm saying is true. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If, if what you're saying, if I don't Some get people what you're talking about work because on camera so really next time, well. next time you don't understand something I'm saying, you're like, what are you talking about, bro? Then I could basically put that argument back on you. No, maybe you're saying something that's just personal to you or just not true. No, it's um, very true. What I, I'm saying, what, what I'm arguing that what I'm saying is true. Okay, and I'm arguing what you're saying is good, good people who work on how about this? To not offend you to call them necessarily actors, although I think they all are. Um certain oh, people work to my on words, screen. they're all actors. They're Certain all people work on. I screen. said they're not good actors. I said they're not all good actors. Margot Robbie's a good actor. I said Margot Robbie was a good actor. Yeah, this is not. You literally whatever I mean, we're not, talking. Listen, about right now, I don't know what we're arguing over. Sometimes I feel like we're arguing for the sake of arguing because wrong. Do I agree that not everyone is a good actor? One hundred percent. There are bad actors in the world. No, I said not. No, I don't no, think. No. I don't I'll, think I'll there are movie stars talking. that are bad actors. I'll, I, I'll, I don't I'll, know any. I'll re I'll remind you what we were talking about. I'm saying. This started because you were talking about Margot Robbie. I made a face. You assumed that meant I thought she was a bad actress. I don't. I then said she is a good actress and she's fucking stunning. I don't know if I've ever seen her in something where whatever you were describing her acting as is ever at that level. Um, I don't know if my acting's ever been at that level. 
Um, I just don't think she. I think like that. What how you were just describing her is like a Meryl Streep level of how you. I just, didn't describe her as a Meryl Streep. I didn't say you use those words, but the way you were describing her acting, I was like, that sounds like someone who's like fucking brilliant. Anyway, so I maybe made a face, and I would I wasn't even going to say anything about it until you called me out on my face, and then I was going to say something. I think she's good. I think she's beautiful. I think she's a movie star. Then I said, I don't believe just because all movie stars are good actors. I don't think because you're a movie star that it's because you're a good actor. Would you I agree think, that I, all movie stars are good performers? No. Then, okay, so there are some. Who are the movie stars? Name the name a movie star. Name one who is okay. both a bad actor and a bad performer. A performer? <laughs> I don't even know how you define performing. In Someone who performs that's, and it's entertaining. Whatever it is, a dance, kung fu, action, emotion. Doesn't, that doesn't apply to comedy, everyone. That doesn't, apply, that doesn't apply to everyone. I could give you basically almost- Who are the bad movie people. stars? Tell me who the bad bad. Okay, fine, Cameron. Who did the, what, what's what's his face? Who did, uh, who did, who did the, 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 the fucking- Holy shit, whatever those movies are, the Fast and the Furious movies. How about mm-hmm. every man in that Diesel? movie? And what's his face who died? Paul Rest Walker. Paul Walker. Who else? Every guy. Name every guy. Tyrese, who's in that movie. Right? Tyrese. Him. Okay. Every, bro, 90% of the movie stars out there and have always been not good actors. They're either they're incredibly good looking, first requisite. They have a charm to their personality, which is what you're saying. They're not boring to watch because they're not just like Megan Fox is a very uncharming, hot woman. I could not watch Megan Fox on the phone all day long because she's a block of wood. But other people who are good looking, they have some charm to their personality. They're not bad. They're good enough actors. They're good. They're good enough. They're fine. Some are just fine where they could talk naturally and act naturally, not be in their head and not be stiff. If you're stiff, you're out. If you're good looking and you get some naturalness, doesn't mean you're a good actor. It's a very base layer of acting. The very level of acting where you're just like, you just have to be natural is one on one kindergarten level. You have that and you're fucking stunning, you can be a movie star. Okay, so Tyrese is not a movie star, first off. All right. Wasn't. No, there I mean, are, I don't- there are definitely pretty faces who like Paul just Walker. Kind of, Fine. Paul Walker. Just, hold on. There are definitely pretty faces who just kind of like get by with the bare minimum. Absolutely. And the bare minimum to be able to be whatever on screen and, and appeasing and watchable and have some kind of a combo or whatever, the bare minimum of acting. Yes. I'm not going to deny that there are people who meet the bare minimum there are people who excel greatly and there are people who are terrible. Absolutely. Um, Paul Walker, I think, was a good actor. Great actor? No. He was good. He did what he had to do. If you watch him, it, it was never – I never was like, oh, my God, this fucking guy. I can't – no, he was good. He really – he was good. He was attractive. He, he, he was a movie star. He kind of moved you through the story. Everyone else around him probably did more work than he did, but he was good. He was good. The he was not movie. bad. He was good. And that is okay. So he was a good actor. He knew how to go moment to moment and be he's in a, a bad movie. actor, bro. No, that, he, that's that not must, a bad look, actor. Look, look, look. They, that guy didn't have to do anything in any movie he was ever in more than talking naturally and doing fight. He's not moments. a bad actor. He's just a good actor. He's not a great actor. He's a have good you ever actor. seen that guy like have to Who's like. He's a bad actor. Really, you ever see that guy have to. Tyrese really maybe is a bad actor. You have to see like you ever have, ever see like Paul Walker in any movie like act like this like he was going through like a withdrawal or something. Do some sense memory work. Do some like what I call acting moments. Not where arguing. It's like, this this requires more than me just being like, yeah, man, let's go to the beach. Yo, get the fuck out of here, bro. Yo, fuck you, man. Yo, fuck you, man. Like anger and natural talking are so simple things to do, right? They're not. They don't show what a person really has. OK, there's moments where like, let's test this person. When I see some, an actor get by on just talking cool and natural, all the things I'm like you're not tested yet. Let's see what you do when someone says, yo. Where's your wallet? You, there's a fucking spider on you right now. You act like, oh, my God, there's a spider on you. Like, show me something that involves right. sense memory. Can we do an acting exercise with you right now? Let's just go into it. OK, I want you to mime 
that you have a lottery ticket. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you have a coin in your hand and this is a scratcher for a million dollars. No, right? wait, 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 wait. I have questions. You want a lottery ticket or you want a scratch off? It's a scratch off lottery. It's a scratch off ticket. That doesn't exist, bro. Okay. Imagine it exists in this exercise. There's a ticket. You scratch it. You could win a million dollars if you win and you're scratching and it's the million dollar ticket. I want and and you're scratching it, not expecting anything. You've been you've been you're 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 a, you're a loser who scratches these tickets every freaking week of your life. You got a paycheck. You got a ticket. You scratch it, and this is going to be the winning one. Whenever you're ready to take it, the scene away. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa! This is fucking what? terrible, dude. Come on, Mike. Really, really do this for real. Hold on, hold on. Life is terrible. Oh, God. I really thought that you actually fucking try to do this. Only the scratch off. This is, this is bad acting because you're afraid that you can't do it. You can't do it. It's terrible. The people at home, you just... Ah! You just... You just ah! Ah! <laughs> Let me tell you something, bro. All right, I'm going to go now. That me. doesn't win me an Oscar. That was terrible. I'm going to go now. My turn. Oh, you actually have a scratch off there? Yo, bro, I ate your fucking monkey. You want me to act? Ready? Hey. I'm doing a scene. <laughs> bro, one-on-one, -on -one, bro. Don't put your chin down like that, all right? The camera sees <laughs> Keep your chin up and forward. It's it harder to act when you get older. It gets, it gets harder to act when you get older. Bro, that's been your chin this whole fucking thing, by the way. All right, I'm starting again. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So I'm very confused about how to how to do this. You know what? Oh my god! I really believe this kid. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It was good. It was good. It was pretty good. Hold on. Oh my god! Hold on, sorry. Where'd Cameron go? I suddenly, see him in a gas station. Whoa! Transform. Oh. Look at oh, that. You see the eye movement? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. He recognized. I'm reading, and I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, is that your reading look? No, no. It's like I'm realizing there's like a big number there. I might scratch a ticket. You have to scratch multiple to get to. Oh, all right, all right, all right. So that first Which is one is good because it's detailed, unlike yours. It's detailed. <laughs> oh my God. His, his eyebrows went up twice. What is this? Wait, wait. He doesn't understand what's going on. First, he was confused. Get and then he, the fuck out of here. he was what? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, my God. That, yeah. Scratch, scratch, scratch one of the scratch. two boxes. I thought you already knew so that you wanted You're going to pin yourself to. Then yeah. scratch. Yeah, two, yeah. three final boxes, and if they match, you get the number in the top left box. Yeah. Okay. But I thought you just won a million dollars. What was that reaction? I'm close. Okay. I scratched oh, the first oh, one, oh, the oh, okay. second one. Now I got to do. Oh, okay. All right. Whoa! Look at that. <laughs> See, this is why you would never be a movie <laughs> star. Fucking commentary, man. I'm I'm in the moment here. Stop are it. You? I got one but more. Could we, could we ask you, are you? Well, you don't give me any respect. I was quiet during yours and you you were terrible. Well, you I'm actually were, you were like, oh, look things. at this guy. He's not taking it seriously. That was the best well, acting yeah, I ever didn't gave. Take you. It serious at all. All right. I'm at, I'm at the third box here. I'm, okay, I'm about so to win a fucking million dollars. You want to see what I look like when I'm in a million dollars? Okay. You're explaining now where you're at in the scene. I get it. <laughs> No fucking way. No fucking way. No fucking way. I was doing this. No. I got a call. Yo. 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 Dude. Yo, yo what up? Dude, I'm okay. I fucking got a lottery ticket here that I'm bugging out, bro. Yeah. 
I got this lottery ticket. It's the million dollar ticket. You scratch one of two top boxes. It gives you a number, which is your anchoring point. Okay. That's the number that you can win. I scratch the top one. It's a million dollars. This is the fucking yeah. million dollar ticket. I'm not even talking uh, with you. Okay. This is the real million dollar ticket for California lottery. You scratch cool. the top one. That's the anchor point. Then you have to scratch the three of the six boxes at the bottom and they all have to hit a million, the same number. If you get all three and you can only scratch three of those boxes, you can't scratch all of them. You only scratch the three that you choose. You get all three, you get that top number. I've scratched two and they're both a million dollars. I have to scratch my final fucking box. Yeah. And if it's a bit, and like, this could be a complete, Dude, you know how these things are. Like they, they can have a million tickets out there that you know they have the two million, but like never do they have three. Like there's gotta be one ticket out there with three. Anyways, I, I just I'm fucking bugging, dude. And I need yeah. you to look at this. Okay. All right. I'm gonna um, FaceTime you. Dude. Oh. Okay. Do you see that ticket? Yeah. Do you see yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm looking at it right now, bro. I'm going to scratch one more. I mean, dude, I'm one scratch away from a million dollars. So let, let me ask you a question then. Why are you FaceTiming me and telling me all this? I mean, I what, just... Why don't you just scratch the box and tell well, me because after? Because I got to do. What if I scratch the wrong box? I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. So <laughs> you're the, 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 the logic of you calling me before scratching... The last third of the of, of the ticket, you were able to do the first two thirds on your own, was moral support? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. This is crazy, dude. All right, bro. You know what, man? I believe you. Continue. All right. Let's do it. Which one do I scratch? Don't that. say anything. I got myself this far. I'll make the decision myself. Okay. I'm glad you called me. No, 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 dude, 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 look at what? that. Oh my god, oh my god, dude, oh my god, it's amazing. Wait, wait a second, dude, show me that. Oh, oh, what's that saying? That what's that saying in the back? What's that saying in the back? Oh, oh, you had just been had by a fake lottery ticket. Oh, oh that was my going away gift to you, motherfucker. I left that shit in your body. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is an example of a great actor's work being shat on by an awful actor who doesn't know how to yes and. And we'll get into yes ands <laughs> next week. Fucking prick. I forgot what the yes and is. Yeah, worse. That reminds me of the, the 30 Rock episode where it's like uh, you're like you're just as bad as you were in uh in in, in improv, and uh and they're on stage and they're like Oprah meets Sling Blade, and then and then Tina Fey goes up, she's like, mm, I love me some French fried potatoes, and then the other actress goes, No, you don't, Oprah. <laughs> Funny, that's that's me. Uh, All right, this has been a blast, bro. You're the worst actor ever. Mike. Yeah. The only reason why I'm what not. I call the popcorn star. and the kettle black. No, no. Dude. The reason why I'm not. You're, you're, the reason I, why no, I'm like, not listen, a movie star. Let's be real. Comment below. Who gave I am ugly as performance. Who <laughs> gave a better ugly. performance? Please comment Stunningly below. Stunningly unattractive yeah. human being. And I need to know if I'm crazy about the high five thing. Oh, you're so it's crazy. You can't middle. touch. The side of my fucking screen. This is what it would look like if I was going to meet you. You can't see my hand. That, you got to see my hand. I don't know what's going on. Start on the other end. Hold on. I'll take a picture right now with your phone. Take a picture right now with your phone on the God. screen and text it to me. Control. Text it to me. Text that to me. Quickly. Because this is I'll almost show out. You. I'll just show you. Show, show me. What? Oh, oh, oh. You're above me. Yeah. Oh, I'm side I'm side by side with you. Oh uh, there we go. My man. My man. man.